In this part of the tutorial series on spinners, you will learn how to change the appearance of the spinner, including the text size, color, background color, and more. So let's get started. You should have a spinner in your app and you can check the previous tutorials to get started with that. Now in our main activity, you may remember that we created an array adapter object. And what this does is when we provide it with a list, it will create a view for every single element in that list to be displayed in our dropdown, like so. In addition to providing it with a list, we also provided it with a layout for what the selected item should look like. So this layout over here, the android.r.layout.simplespinner.item, is the layout that you see over here for Texas, where it's in blue. What we want to do eventually is replace this layout, which comes from the Android SDK, with our own layout that we have created. We also want to replace this uh, r.layout.simplespinner dropdown item, which is the layout for each of these dropdown items with our own custom layout. To do this, we'll go over to the project side on the left, and underneath our resources folder, uh, there's another folder called layout. We'll right click over here and then hover over new and click layout resource file to create a new layout for file. And then I'm going to name this my selected item. So we'll start by creating the layout for the selected item as seen over here, Texas. So we can go ahead and click OK. And it's generated this layout file that has a constraint layout in it. But you can see that the selected item is simply a text view. So we can go ahead and delete this constraint layout and replace it with a text view instead because that's what's actually being displayed. And now we can treat this as a regular text view. So we can go ahead and specify additional attributes such as its um, text size. So we can say Android text size and then we could make this maybe uh, 24 dp. We can also say that its text color will be blue. So we can say um, we can use the hexadecimal code 0000ff for blue. And we can even provide some small amount of padding by saying phi dp. So this is the layout for our uh, selected item from the spinner. It's pretty simple. Now that we have this, we're going to follow a similar process to create a view for each of the items in our dropdown like so. So we're going to go ahead to our layout file, right click, and select new layout resource file. I'll call this my dropdown item. And because this is also a text view, just like the selected item, I'm going to go ahead and copy this code over here from my selected item and paste it in my dropdown item. And now we can just change a couple of things. For example, for the text color, instead of blue, we can make it um, we can make it black by saying with three zeros. We can also set the background color by saying Android background. And then for the hexadecimal code, I already have one picked out, FFD5D5, which is a light red. And finally, for the padding, we can increase it from 5 dp to 13 dp. And what this will do is increase the space between each view in a dropdown. So if you want the space to be small, you can provide a small amount of padding, or in this case, I'm going to provide 13 dp. So now that we have this, uh, these layout resource files created, we're going to go ahead to our main activity.java. The last step is to use the files that we created for, instead of the ones from the Android SDK. So inside of the array adapter constructor, instead of this typical sp simple spinner item, I'm going to say r.layout. And then whatever the name of your file is. So for me, it was my selected item. And then for the set dropdown view resource, instead of the simple spinner dropdown item, I'm going to replace it with r.layout. And then the name of my file was my dropdown item. So now that we have this, we're ready to run the app and see the results. So when we run the app, we can see that the selected item is blue instead of the traditional black. And we've also changed the size of both the selected item as well as each of the items in our dropdown. In addition to this, we've changed the background color for each of the elements in the dropdown. So in this tutorial, you learned how to change the appearance of the spinner, including the selected item as well as the dropdown. In part 5 of the tutorial uh, series, I will cover how to create a custom layout for your spinner so that in addition to having it look completely customized, you can have more than just a text view for each element. For example, each item in your spinner could have a picture as well as other elements along with some text. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.